In her close-knit, middle-class community nestled in the heart of Sri Lanka's capital, grassroots activist Samudra Jailath leads a team of volunteers to distribute camping leaflets for the upcoming presidential election. But the 61-year-old local political leader, who is also a beloved member of the community, is not running for the top job. Instead, she is tapping on her cloud to camping for her presidential candidate of choice, opposition leader Sajit Premadasa. As Sri Lanka grappled with its most severe financial crisis, 17.1 million citizens are set to cast their ballots on September 21 in a crucial presidential election, seeking a new leader to steer the nation towards political stability and economic revival. Jalad had once hoped her political career would take off after she won a municipal election in 2012. But she has not held any political post at national level, despite working for multiple parties for nearly four decades. In a striking omission, the field of 38 candidates lacks a single female representative, highlighting a concerning gender gap in the country's political landscape. Then Parliament ye gatta, magaru mantri variyu gatta, me ye ta desha paane pasvi magti ano. Namut ehe man ethu, then apu vage me bimmatte me ina kaantha vante. Itane te yanna hari amaru, itane te yanna gorak capital liti ano. Eka titim bohoma amaru eng katta ka agena thamai me na agar sabhav kine gatta aave. Since Sri Lanka introduced the universal franchise in 1931, the number of women in parliament has never crossed the threshold of 7%. Today, they are just 5.3% of its 225 members and have historically held only a fraction of cabinet positions. Women's representation in grassroots governance in Sri Lanka has never crossed 23% despite the spur of a 2016 quota. Even the uh, electoral system, if you look at the uh, manner in which you have to spend money, preferential voting system, uh, the struggles to get your nomination, uh, all that, that decision making is in the hands of men. Money is in the hands of men. Uh, access to resources are controlled by male uh, business elite.